Welcome back everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Neo Scavenger Blind. We've died again last time, so we have to start again, which is kind of crappy, but it's alright. We're learning more and more of the game and how to survive. So, um, yeah, I really like this stuff. Metabolism isn't that bad. I can find plenty of water and I can usually get enough food to survive. But it really is nice to have more, um... Uh, more abilities. Now, I tried doing it with ranged and it just doesn't seem to work. You really need melee at the beginning. Strong as well is nice because you uh, do more melee damage. Tough, I just can't leave without, uh, live without these because tough gives you more resistances to wounds and so on. Medic is excellent. I can't help but make the same character every time. I guess it could take hacking as well, but Mechanic is nice. Botany is nice as well. Mechanic, how about I take... Insomniac then, and try it like that. Tough. You know what? I'm gonna take Tough away. And Insomniac, and we'll see. Uh, let's take either Trapping or botany. I think I'm gonna take... Let's say trapping for once. <clears throat> okay. We can be fragile, but that's not really something I would want to take. Alright, let's confirm this. Wake up, and let's do... Emergency dump. Let's prepare to fight it. Yeah, let's fight it. <laughs> Instinctively drop to a defensive stance as it bursts into the room. The beast stands on its hind legs like a man, but has the appearance of a ragged, predatory dog. It looks right at you, shrieks with a sound that freezes your blood. Despite your fear, you put up a pretty, a pretty good fight. What? Are we not gonna actually fight it? You move like you've done this before, and avoiding most of his lunges. You even manage to deliver a blow that sends the beast reeling in a haze. Taking advantage of his distraction, you knock him to the ground and deliver a fatal blow with your knee. <laughs> They're wounded, at least you're alive. What the hell? So we actually killed them. With a rush of adrenaline fading, you turn your attention back to this strange room. You should probably finish up here in case there are more of those things. <clears throat> Bloody hell, upper left uh, leg was scratched, right arm was pelted. Ouch. So let's uh, search this again, as usual. Philip Kindred. Let's uh, climb out the window then. <clears throat> Excuse me. Right, let's see. Uh, well, we're s minor cut. It's not a huge deal. And we can actually cut this up for meat. So this is pretty crazy. There. <laughs> yeah, cut it up with a shard. How about that? Wait, what if I do trapping as well? Ooh! Dogman Furco. Wow! Oh, that's awesome! What if I take this away? Oh, that's awesome! I can actually make a fur coat out of that! That's brilliant! <laughs> that's awesome! Okay, let's scavenge over here with our medical skill. So we can find that uh, med kit. There we go. Wow! This is a good start! <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> that! That armor on, that looks awesome. And it's quite warm, as you can see, the temperature rising. That is awesome. <laughs> Alright, what do we have in here? Uh, we have some antibiotics, some painkillers, and some more antibiotics. Well, not too bad. Right, so let's... Uh, let's bandage these. There we go. That is pretty awesome, I have to say. I didn't think you could actually kill this thing. Uh, well... I thought that it was possible, but you had to actually fight it. Uh, but nope. Well, I'm gonna... Damn, I can't take all this meat now, actually. Because I need to find a container. Or find... <laughs> look at that. Or find uh, some way of making a fire. There we go. Alright, let's uh, end the turn. Scavenge. Strong. You found something, quite a lot of stuff indeed. Whoa, ho, ho. look at all those painkillers, antibiotics, more painkillers, more whatever was there. Painkillers. It's 
put them in here. That is quite amazing. More pink. Oh, these are different. Wait a second. Hydrocodone, and these are kind of non-prescription. Oh, ah, these are prescription painkillers, and these are non-prescription. Okay. All right, excellent. So I'm gonna keep these separate. That is pretty damn awesome. <coughs> And these are also very expensive, as you can see. Especially the antibiotics. Alright, so. Got a plastic sled here, which doesn't really help me, unfortunately. Let's take the broken bottle. Glass shift. One smaller, medium flexible, non food object. Small, brittle, rigid object. Well, can I actually make something with this? Maybe with a broken bottle? Uh. Sorted small parts, no? String? No. Okay, so where's the glass shift then? Oh, I don't have it. Okay, never mind. Can I make something with this? Fur coat. No. Okay, never mind that. There's all that food over there. Really pains me to leave it behind. Ooh, that was a lot of stuff. Nice. Uh, this is in much better condition. This is also nice. Uh, some khaki cargo pants. Excellent. Gonna wear those. Some... Uh, I'm not gonna drink that, actually. U.S. spies in Xinhua. U.S. citizen Roger McGill was killed by Xinhua protectors in Zhongkun, Beijing, Saturday, after allegedly infiltrating an unmarked office tower. McGill is suspected of being a CIA operative after a Xinhua government investigation. When asked at Monday's White House press conference, administration representatives denied the allegations. Of course they did. Uh, brown t-shirt, we can also have and a community t-shirt. There we go. <clears throat> that is pretty cool. I'm gonna take this as well. Actually, this is more... Ex ah, I can't have that. Oh well. Well, not a bad start, but I still want that meat. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. That's a club of some sort, I think. Can I scavenge with a trapper? No. <clears throat> no, I want to scavenge with a... Don't I have a tra trapping skill? I, th I do have the trapping skill. So can I make some... Wait, where's my assorted parts? Oh, I left them over here. No, I didn't. What the hell? Are they still here? I have no idea. Let's go. Damn. All that lovely meat over there. White yellow berries. Well, I don't know if they're useful. Or if they're poisonous or not. Right. Um, yeah, I want to use my trapping skill. Uh, nothing here. Well, let's make some of this. See what we can do with the trapping skill. Well, fire. Well, that's fine. But I want some string. Can I use something with a talisman? No. Never mind then. Yeah, that's gonna be it. Let's go. Don't need the fire just yet. There's some water here and spoiled chunk of meat. That's unfortunate. Oh, there's a guy with a pistol there. Damn. Oh, he's not coming over here, so that's good. Do you see me? I've got a dogman fur coat. You're gonna try to attack me, you're gonna be sorry. Handful of berries. No idea if they're poisonous. I'm just gonna try to go for the uh, ATN thingy over here. I think it's over there. Or... There. And the turn. Let's uh, scavenge this place as well. Storage shed. You found something. Ooh, excellent. I think... Oh, no, it's just a box. I have found a crowbar, however. Hardened spear. I'm thinking a crowbar is better for some reason. Let's keep this bottle, even though it doesn't... No. It's not useful, is it? Crude torch. Very nice, but... If I... 
take this. This is gonna be... No? I'm not overburdened or anything? Really? Wow. Sorted small parts. I would like to take the spear as well. Can I make some stuff now? Let's see. Uh, I've got sorted small parts. Oh yeah, I wouldn't need the... Never mind. Let's keep going. There's a lake here. Hopefully I'm not gonna get diarrhea from this. And the turn. Not yet, but the diarrhea might be coming. <laughs> well, there's a squirrel here. Oh, I should have kept the chart, actually. Can I use these claws? Well, never mind that then. Ugh. Melon head. Offer to talk. Player offers to talk. Melon head charges at player. Okay. Yeah, I, I still don't know what this thing is all about. Let's advance towards it. It's still advancing. Uh oh, this is gonna be horrible, probably. It's feeble and barefoot and only has a punch. And it's fell down. Okay. Well, come on then. Charge. Charge. Hopefully we won't uh, fall down. Charge! Melon head is exposed. Okay, let's uh, take cover. And then advance under cover. And then we'll place down a... Oh, we can't. Obstacle. Melee surge. With a crowbar. Bang, bang, bang. Look at that. Vulnerable, recovering, stun, severe pain, bleeding. And it's in desperate retreat. That was good. Look at that. Uh, player whip melon has upper left arm, upper right arm, lower left arm. Jeez. He's bleeding and he's running away. Create obstacle. Can I do that even though they're running away? Okay, they can't get away. Charge! Melon head is bleeding. Melee surge. Bang, bang, bang. Melonhead has died due to acute bleeding in the lungs. Oh, and it's still like that? It's a humanoid corpse. I thought it was a mutant. Maybe that's not implemented yet. Okay, so that was interesting. I thought those guys are gonna be really... weird and... horrible. But apparently not. Scavenge. Shack in the forest. Let's uh, scavenge with this. Oh yeah, that's a lot. Nice. No useful items. Darn it. Why can't I use my trapping skill? I don't really understand. Your activity likely alerted nearby creatures. But we are Arnold! Okay. Berries, which I don't really want to eat, because I don't know... ...what they are. Well, this is quite secluded over here. We could sleep over here, I guess. Found something. Oh, it's a noise trap, I think. Yeah. Yeah, you know what? Let's sleep over here then. With the noise trap. Alertness. Oh, there we go. We also have alertness now. Not very good, but it's okay. Zzz. Well, that was okay. As night falls, you notice a bright yellow, a uh, bright glow coming from the east. Well, there we go. We slept okay. And, um,. Now we're just gonna rest and heal a little bit until uh, daytime, I guess. We're thirsty now. Not good. I need to find some water storage shed. No useful items. Great. Uh-oh. We've alerted something. Reveal self. Let's uh, take cover. Oh! There was a guy with a bow. Weird stuff. Hello? Let's take cover. Oh, he's still hiding. Huh. He doesn't want to uh, attack me, apparently. Maybe he was just hunting for food. Oh, well. I need to, to drink something. I guess that the first water I come to now, I should just drink. 
There's a lake here, but questionable quality. Well, let's drink it all anyway. There we go. Nice. What was this? If I hold shift... Ah, I can... Uh, okay, I can separate things. What if I hold alt? Nothing. Oh well. Let's keep going. Where the hell is that thing? It's sort of over here, isn't it? I should be going that way. Because there's free food. Uh, stuff to sell and buy. Oh, what the hell was that? Okay, I'm going away. What the hell was that? I have no idea. <gasps> Yazinka, what the hell is it? I'm going. I'm going. I have no idea what that was, and I don't want to know. Maybe I need to go south for that camp. Actually, I should have scavenged over there for items. Let's do that. An abandoned mobile home. Let's do that, and brutishly. Ooh, <coughs> excuse me, that was a lot of stuff. Excellent. Exactly what I was looking for. So let's put that here. Put it here. Uh, don't really want that. Even though, uh, why not? How the hell we're we carrying this? I have no idea. Crowbar with strap. So, how does that help me? With strap. Can you have it on your neck? How, how does that help me? I don't really understand that. Huh. No idea what that does. Well, I want to have both crowbars now. Very nice pair of binoculars. You know what? Fine. Let's do it like this. Squirrel snare. Nice. Uh, shoes in slightly better condition. What about these? Yep. Even better. Excellent. I'm going to take these because I can sell them. Uh, some hoodies. Khaki pants. Some painkillers. Over the counter. Oh, I just put it in there. Okay. Handful of string. Can I also put this on? No, it's either this or that. That looks way cooler, though. I could sell it, though. But it's really big. <laughs> yeah, this one is not as big. Might want to sell that. There. Okay. And a bottle where I can store some water as well. Don't really want to uh, leave that crowbar, but oh well. I can take another thing. 6.7, I'm going to take that then. Oh, I already have pants in there, of course. Uh oh, there's a stranger over there with a club or something. And he's going. No. Thought he was going for me, but apparently not. Ah, this is probably it. Because there's so much forest over here. Yep, yeah, the forest here has eyes. There we go. More than a few times now you could swear you've seen something in the periphery. Alright, let's... Uh, trapping. Check the local flora for clues. You stoop to the ground and look at the, some of the plants here. If this is a creature's natural habitat, maybe there will be clues. At first you see little that catches your eye. You can't see anything to distinguish this forest from the last. But then you notice it. Something has pruned some of the fruit-bearing plants here. It's subtle and you almost dismiss this as critter activity. However, something deliberately and completely stripped these plants of anything edible. Well, let's uh, scan the area. You stop moving and start looking carefully into the endless foliage. Your eyes dart from uh, one space to the next, trying to take it all in, uh, in all the distant shapes of the forest. You see nothing unusual, however, and the fleeting images of the edge of your vision 
whatever they were, seem to be either gone and invisibly waiting for your next move. Uh, continue into the forest. Whatever, this thing can go stuff itself. Uh, your thoughts are interrupted when you notice something a ways off to your side. It's humanoid in shape and wearing clothes, but it has a face as white as plaster, with a raccoon-like blackness where its eyes should be. It's staring right at you and makes your neck chill. Call out to it. Trying not to tip the scales towards hostilities, you call out to it. In return, it raises a hand, palm toward you. Simultaneously, several more seem to appear in a wide circle around you, seemingly from nowhere. Stranger, says the first, you have entered the protected lands. What are your intentions? To fight. <laughs> I was just leaving. Peaceful. I don't mean any harm, you say. The figure speaks again. We will take you to speak to one of the, our elders. You must wear this. It holds out a blindfold and restraints. Okay. Okay, you say, and wait for further instructions. One of them fixes the blindfold over your eyes. Meanwhile, your hands are bound behind your back. Despite the restraints, the whole process proceeds without any unnecessary force. You seem to be handled with both caution and respect. You're turned in place and led forward through the forest. Minutes of silent uh, traveling later, you you being you begin to hear sounds, not being, as it says. Not forest sounds, but people sounds. Okay, we've already read all this. And we meet... Yeah, we meet that uh, person. Yeah, that's me. My name's Philip Kindred. So we can... We can uh, what's with Ghostface? Ghostface, you ask? Oh, him? Nah, he's alright. It'd have to be pretty bad for him to slit your throat. I see, you say, uncomf uncomforted. It's the talisman, she points to your bauble. We get a few looters stealing artifacts like that. Pisses them right off. Lucky for you, though. I know you. She ribs you. You know me? Yeah, well, no, not personally. Here. Uh, well, then we're looking at the picture. Michelle asks a question. Uh, yeah, tell about the cryo facility. Why am I in this photo? So, you're trying to process this. How did I end up in this photo? Man, your brain was really fried, huh? This was like your thing back then. What's that? What thing? Well, she begins, it's like the caption says, you used to run a website. A website? You're not sure whether to be relieved or disappointed. Yeah, and like I said, you were into it. She starts digging through some papers. It was like a huge collection of unexplained happenings. Creature sightings, hauntings, mass extinctions, like, you know, real conspiracy stuff. Except, she adds, you treated it pretty scientifically, like cross-referenced and fact-checked and stuff. Here we go, she pulls up a three-ring binder from under some papers. Not the whole thing, mind you, she laughs. Thing would take up this room if we painted all, uh, printed all that out. She hands it to you. This is the entry you had on our tribe's histories. You flip the cover open and find it filled with musty yellowed paper. The print is in good shape, though. Prophecy of the Seven Fires reads the first page. Skimming over it, the text refers to the world mythology of the Anishinaabe people, the keepers of the fires, Ojibwe, Odawa, and Potawatomi tribes. It's an article, like an academic research paper. Citations litter the bottom, referencing long-forgotten websites and publications. And up in the left corner, a logo, the New Earth Ostracon. The other pages are similar, talking about topics relevant to the uh, Anishinaabe people. Things like turtle-shaped island, Nanabojo, and the Dodem system of clans. And, and, she interrupts, you were really keen on tracking propagation. Like, you had this whole section connecting dots between similar instances, timelines, even correlating rumors to occurrences. My father, though, she says, he was just thrilled that our oral tradition was being shared again, and with everyone in the world. That was a pretty big deal to him. Did I write all this, you ask? This is a lifetime's work, this. Nah, I think you were just a curator. A lot of this was written by readers. To hear my father tell it, you were big into the way these ideas evolved. Had some crazy theory about how they were all connected. You turned to look at her expectantly. That's when you said you started to run into trouble. You were a welcome visitor here, of course, but you came here for help. Oh? Maybe you were getting somewhere. Help with the talisman to protect you from spirits. Anyway. We'll continue next time. 
when we'll get some nice food and everything. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.